I got so many fun things this week at Aldi. I cannot wait to dive in and share with you guys all the fun things they had this week. Also, I have a couple of videos that I took in store to show you some of the other like decor items, lots of wrapping stuff for the holidays and a ton of food. And if you're spotting what I'm showing you right here, I did get my hands on the other two cheeses. So if you saw last week's video, you know what I'm talking about. I'm ready to get right into this haul. If you guys are ready, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Starting here with the frozen items, we've got the ready to bake raspberry danish. There's eight danishes in here. They're pastry filled with sweet raspberry jam. These look incredible. I love raspberry. I talk about it all the time. And I thought, you know what? This would be so fun to try in the taste test. But wait, there's more. There's a second one. This is another ready to bake. This is a cinnamon swirl. Fit flaky pastry filled with a delicious cinnamon swirl. There's also eight in here. They're both imported from Belgium, but they look incredible. And I was like, you know what? I have to try both flavors. So I got them both to try because they just look too good to pass up. So these are frozen. Can't wait to try these in the taste test tomorrow. We also have the famous season fries. I hadn't seen these. These are from, um, I don't know, Checkers rallies is that two different places i'm not sure i'm from california so we don't have these options i feel like i've heard of them before i think it's either a restaurant or fast food place so let me know in the comments but these are seasoned fries and they say crispy so when they say crispy i buy them um and i'm curious to see what the seasoning is on here so i think tim and i are going to also try these in the taste test as well we're going to air fry these babies because that's how we cook all of our fries um, even though on the side, it just tells you to bake it in the oven. I'm definitely going to air fry. So if you're curious how these cook up air fried, I guarantee they're going to be incredible um, because fries always are so great in the air fryer. And here's the nutrition facts in case you guys were curious about that and the ingredient list as well. Sorry, my camera does not want to focus, but... Um, I hadn't seen these at Aldi, so I wanted to give them a try, and we like fries at home, so got that. Now, this one is an iffy, maybe it's going to be okay, maybe not. It was 75 cents, um, and Tim thought it might be like a banquet meal, if you've seen the banquet frozen meals. This one's Bremer, never heard of the brand. It might be just like the Aldi, like, you know, less expensive, more affordable brand in the frozen section, but you know what? It always is important to try things to see if they're good because you never know even though it's 75 cents it might be amazing and it is a microwavable chicken pot pie and it has a basically a flaky crust filled with chicken carrots potatoes peas and a savory gravy tim will be trying this in the taste test to let you guys know how it is and if it's worth 75 cents so there's that now to some cheeses. So I was kind of thinking charcuterie for this week. I don't know. It's We're getting closer to um, parties and guests coming over and things like that. So it's always nice for me to have things on hand to just throw together and make a really pretty like charcuterie board with um, crackers, cheese, and if Tim has pepperonis, he loves adding pepperonis. So this one is the Alouette Creme Debris, and I love that, first of all, there's no outer rind, so people that are that don't like the rind, there's none of that in here, and this one is a garlic and herb flavor. They also had a plain one, but I did want to give the garlic herb a try, so we'll try this in the taste test as well because I'm curious, and then last year we got this, and so I decided let's get it again because Tim absolutely loved it. It is the Roasted Garlic with Tomato Basil semi-soft cheese and you can see it is loaded with all types of seasonings and um, it does taste kind of like a pizza so if you like that style and that flavor this cheese is great it's super affordable for a big block too so if you want to like I think you can make a really yummy grilled cheese you could use this on like a homemade pizza I think this would be excellent for homemade pizza but uh, it's great. So if you want something that has a lot of flavor, this is a good cheese. Now to the two cheeses that I actually went back to Aldi to get because so many of you guys in the comments before I tried this in the taste test swore by the Bella Vitano cheese. And it is like, it's a really awesome cheese. It's a great quality. It's incredible. It honestly tastes insanely good. 
We tried the garlic one last week, and so I had to go and get the two other flavors that Aldi is carrying. So we got the black pepper and the Merlot, and I'm going to be trying these in the taste test as well because I'm not kidding you guys, this cheese is so high quality and so delicious. Everyone in the comments that swore by it was like spot on, and I tell you what, it's like so worth picking up. And I will say my Aldi has restocked it a few times. So if you don't see it one day and you go back, you might see it again because I, I have seen it around and it was like, I got like the last two and then when I went back a couple days later, they restocked. So there's that FYI in case you really wanna try it. And then the last refrigerated item I grabbed was the Christmas tree shaped sugar cookie dough. This is Benson's favorite. He loves the holiday um, Halloween ones and the Christmas ones and Aldi has the Christmas trees right now So I definitely grabbed these for my son because he loves it and it's fun just to have like a festive cookie That's already ready to go. You just pop it in the oven and it has the cute little design on there So I got those now I'm gonna move on to the rest of the items But I'm gonna put away my cold stuff first so I will be right back now If you saw one of my Aldi hauls from last year and I showed you this amazing Christmas tree that is basically, it's a brioche that's shaped into a tree. We got the chocolate chip last year and they had that again this year, but I wanted to try the vanilla cream. So I got the vanilla cream this time because I just felt like I wanted to try it, see how it tastes. And I think we should try this in the taste test as well to let you guys know how we like it because it looks like there's a good amount of the vanilla cream filling in there. So I think it's gonna be really nice. And I really wanna gauge how sweet it is and if it is as, I know the word everybody cringes at, but as moist as it looks in the package right here. So this one's a fun one. It makes a great gift too, honestly. This is like such a cute gift, especially like dropping it off at your neighbor's house with a cute little note. Um, and it's perfect to have in the morning with some coffee and enjoy. And speaking of brioche, you know I had to do it again. Brioche rolls, this has become a weekly staple. My son absolutely adores his sandwiches made with these. And honestly, I don't know why I thought these were seasonal. So many, so many of you guys said, no, these are year round. And I'm like, so happy they are. And of course, with everything, we do get sick of things and we'll go in a cycle. So right now we are definitely loving these and I'm buying them every week, but we'll take a break soon enough but still on the brioche rolls kick because they're so delicious. I'm gonna get through the food and then we'll get to some of the fun things that I found in the Isle of Shame. Um, so I got some Voodoo Ranger Juice Force for my husband. He loves this, this is like his favorite beer ever and uh, Aldi always has this in stock. I got my son, whoops, I got my son some more dark chocolate marshmallows because he loves these and I kept saying every time I see them, you know, until they're sold out and done for the season, I'll just keep buying a box. So I bought one more because he's down to his last half box and I put him in his lunch for him. And then look what I found. Let's see if these hot cocoa Oreos can redeem the hot cocoa cinnamon rolls from last week or yeah, rolls, whatever, um, from last week because those were such a letdown. So I was like, we gotta try something else to redeem it. So the hot cocoa flavored Oreos are going to be in the taste test as well because how fun. And then I grabbed this six cracker assortment. Trader Joe's has a very similar package of crackers as well. Um, and I just feel like these are a great staple to have around your house at all times, especially during this time of year. When you have random guests coming over, neighbors stopping by, um, family, friends, you name it, like just having these types of things in your cabinet can save you and I will tell you how many times these having like crackers and cheese stocked I have used multiple times <laughs> when I wasn't expecting someone or when you know I needed ha to have like emergency extra food so that's always a good thing to think about and I think the six cracker assortment is seasonal but hey if you guys know better than me please tell me because I don't remember seeing these during the year and it does seem kind of like a holiday item. Now let's get into some of the fun things I found that are not food related. So one thing I grabbed are these paper plates that have the matching napkins. I really couldn't decide between the two so I just grabbed them both. First of all, I absolutely adore the um, tree prints they have this year. These green tree prints are on everything, like not just from Aldi but from everywhere. 
and I love it because it's so classic and it's just winter. It's not necessarily a Christmas. It could be just be winter or holiday in general. So I like that for that reason and I just think they're cute. I don't know. It just it's it's a lovely color. I like green. And then also they have the cute gingerbread house. Well, hello, adorable. I do want to bring you home because you're so cute. And then the matching napkins, of course. So um, yeah, I just, I grabbed two, I grabbed them both. Why not? And then look what they had. Oh my goodness. A little wine sweater. I mean, how unnecessary is this, but how cute too. <laughs> um, I tell myself these things while I'm shopping. I'm like, who, who needs a sweater for their wine? Like I do, of course, of course I do, because I'm going to gift a bottle of wine to someone and I'm going to put this cute gosh darn sweater over it okay because it's too cute not to and they had several other um designs and and um like i don't know what do you call them yeah designs of shirts so if you're not digging the red truck which is my fave go ahead and look there's plenty of others to choose from and it has a cool little two from so you know if you're gonna gift a, a bottle of wine or you probably could put this on several different alcohol bottles that will um, fit because it's stretchy so any type of alcohol or even juice who knows sparkling Martinelli's you can put this on but I just thought it was I I almost passed it up but you know what it was it was too cute not to get so I did since I bought this in the same aisle I wanted to share with you a couple other items that I found one is this gel mask facial set which is great. You can put it in the, fr the fridge or the freezer to keep your face nice and cool. They have sets of lotion, which are awesome. Okay, here's the sweaters. Here's some of them. Uh-oh, one's flipped. I should have flipped that one, but you can get the idea of how cute they are. Um, they also have these great wooden boxes. So if you need a blanket box or whatever, oven mitts, all different sorts of things. There's also this amazing weighted heating pad for your back or your front, whatever. But how awesome is that if you're somebody that has really bad back pain and it's weighted so you can feel like the heat will stay on you. I love that idea, but I didn't need it so I didn't grab it. I also saw these cute rugs that had Christmas trees in the red truck, but I already have one so I didn't need one. These weighted blankets for kids, I had in my cart. I had one in my cart. I loved this so much, but then I realized you know what? It's eight pounds. Um, so not too heavy, but I think this is the one I was going to get Benson, the blue one, but I do think that it was just not going to get used. I don't think my son would use it. So I passed it up. Then they also have some runners and placemats. I think I showed you guys these before. Then this Tupperware, um, storage kit is awesome. So if you need to store food, there's that there's the cutest twin size flannels for your bed and I love these green tree ones of course. Next up I grabbed a three pack of some wrapping paper and they had another three pack of designs. I took some video of that so I'll show you that in a minute in the store but I liked the three packs because they have the foil um, shine to them which the uh, singles I didn't see any that did so I really like these and these are adorable honestly like oh Christmas tree wrapping paper got me. This cute like hot cocoa wrapping paper is adorable. And then these stockings, are you kidding me? And then I decided I wanted to get a single because the single is much longer. So I'm gonna show you how much longer it is. So you can see, this is how much longer it is. They're even at the base and in the top, it's a lot longer. So if you need something that's big that needs wrapping paper, the tall ones are probably great and they're really, uh, I mean, they're heavy, so you're getting a lot of paper, I think, in this. These ones are not as heavy. Oh, and they're double-sided. Forgot to show you guys. They are double-sided. So if you're somebody that's more of like a plain Jane, you don't want to have this crazy colorful stuff, there is a Merry Christmas side, there's a snowflake, and then there's this like um, plaid side. So that's fun. Now, I'm going to show you the other wrapping that they had, but stay till the end because I got the cutest candle collection set and I'm saving the best for last. So. Here we go for the wrapping stuff. They have boxes that you can buy in packs, so a bunch of different boxes. They have tons of bows that you can get, just plain silver or colorful bows. Then they also have bag sets. So if you're somebody that doesn't wrap but you like putting everything in bags, they have sets for those and they're different sizes as well. And then they have some fun kid ones. So if you want to get some bags for kids, these gnome ones were adorable. And then you can see the other side 
has the cute snowman, it says, oh, what fun. Really cute. And then here is the wrapping paper. So I wanted to show you. Oh, I guess they did have the foil wrapping paper. I just saw it. But here's the three pack of the kids one. It has like a little Santa and a burger. Oh my gosh. I almost got those because I thought it was so cute. And then you can see the other de designs. But yeah, that is it for the wrapping. Now to my favorite thing that I got this week. It's the candle collection gift set. First of all, the quality of this box is freaking fantastic. I love it. It's like got this beautiful gold and it is like shiny. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. And it looks like a house. It's shaped like a house. And then on the side, it has a ribbon. So let's open it because I want to show you guys what's inside. I haven't even looked myself. I just used my cutter to cut these, um, <laughs> these stickers. And this is my Trader Joe's cutter from when I worked there. But okay, ready? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Oh, it's a little squished, but nothing broken, I hope. You'll hear it clinging, and it's this. This is the, um, you put out your candles using this, the snuffer. That's what it's called, the candle snuffer. So it comes with a candle snuffer, and it comes with four different candles. They're all in glass jars. And there's Snowfall. I want to smell this. It says it's mint, moss, sandalwood, eucalyptus, and I'm going to smell it. Ooh, okay, that's a very masculine scent in my opinion. They have the candy cane hot chocolate scent. Um, what's in this? Chocolate gourmand, mint sweet. All right, I'm going to smell this one. Oh, whoa. Oh, my gosh. This smells like chocolate. How funny. I... I'm not getting, I guess a little bit of mint too, but mo more chocolate than mint. And then we've got Christmas morning. That sounds pretty. This says clove, cranberry, orange, red berries. Let's smell this one. It's funny that it's an orange tin though. You would think Christmas morning would be like red. Ooh, okay. This is very clove forward. You smell the clove right away. It's definitely got like that spice kind of smell. Um, it's nice. And then the last one is under the tree. So this is gonna be like a balsam candle. Ooh, okay, that one's really strong. I like balsam, but this one is too strong for me in my opinion. It just doesn't, ooh, no, no thank you. Not that one. Um, but the other, the other three are great. And I just feel like this would be a cute gift. It's super cute and fun and festive and all the above, so. There you go, that is the haul this week, and I cannot wait to see you guys in the taste test. There's a lot of fun things we're gonna try. So if you're excited for that video, make sure to give this one a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!